you guys. Now, they don't just serve up a delicious meal. This local sandwich shop gives back to the community, too. Now, here with more is chef and owner Marie. Any guess. Any guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. and chef Chris. How do you Your last names are throwing me for a loop. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for joining us this morning. I am so excited about this, I can't even tell you. Tell me a little bit about the sandwich shop. So the sandwich shop is, um, we do six sandwiches. They're all slow roasted. We slow roast our meat from 12 hours, if not longer, depending wow. on the cut. So okay. everything just goes with a lot of love. We use fresh local ingredients as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of keep it rolling. So how long have you guys been open? Um, we've had the sandwich open uh, shop open for three years. But okay. we've been in business for six. Gotcha. And I love this, and this is one of my favorite part about you guys, is you do a lot with the community. You help yes. up the local organizations. Tell me a little bit about your involvement with that. Well, we've done Roadrunner Food Bank um, for the last six years. Mm -hmm. Actually, the last three years, Chris's soup has won all three years. Wow, good so for you, Chris. So it's been amazing. We've done stuff for cystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm. um, we feed local charter schools here in town, uh, fresh oh, local food. Okay, is that like a lunch thing? Or yeah, just... we do breakfast and lunch. Uh, we were doing 1,250 kids a day, breakfast and lunch wow. from scratch. Okay. Um, we decided to slow down a little yeah. bit this year to work with USDA a little bit more uh -huh. um, on our recipes and stuff like that to get them standardized. So we're working with that. Right now we're working with mm -hmm. NACA okay. and that's the Native American Community Academy and we're also um, looking into Cuidando Los Niños. Wow. So community is a huge part yes. of what you guys do. And not only is that something I think to be very proud of, but you guys have a couple things also, like the diners, drive-ins, and dives that you were featured on, right? Yes. Yeah, we're, <laughs> it was a good time. It so was, it was did, real fortunate that we got called for that. I so think it it's cool. uh, is a f guy. Uh, guy Fieri. Yes. Did, yep. So he came? Yeah. Wow. He came about a year and a half ago. And okay. And we literally went from six chairs to now 60 to open his second location. Cool. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Let's get to what you guys brought because it smells absolutely amazing. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Rubens are my favorite kind of sandwich, but you guys have a special twist on this, correct? Yes. And tell me a little yes. bit about that. So it's all slow roasted corned beef. So we make our own mm -hmm. corned beef. Mm -hmm. um, it's all slow roasted. We do a, a Chipotle Thousand Island. We okay. made it the Duke City uh, Rubens, so we put asadero cheese on it. We had to throw a little Ooh, bit of, yeah. of uh, <laughs> New Mexico yeah. in there. Yeah, light rye. We use um, funnel bread. So it's, it's, it's just an amazing sandwich, 12 hours roasted. We do our own pickling spice the whole night. And, this, and the the, uh, the sauerkraut? The sauerkraut. Yeah, yeah so it's a little bit that. sweeter. It's not a traditional sauerkraut. So it's a little bit sweeter, um, apple cider vinegar, sugar. Mm -hmm. And like I said, our own pickling spice. So we just let it render down and it just, it complements the whole sandwich. It's a whole, whole different sauerkraut than you can Yeah. So is this what you guys, is this a best seller on the menu? Yes. yes. I would say that and the other sandwich we have too is a TNA. It's turkey and avocado with a green chili apple chutney. Ooh, is that this one up yes. here? Ah, okay, so what you do all different types of sandwiches then? We only have six sandwiches. Six, and, it, and it's okay. real cool because people get confused, like, I don't know what I want. And yeah. It's, it's awesome to have somebody, you know, mm -hmm. want like every one of your sandwiches. So we do pork, we do beef, we do okay. vegetarian. We work as much as we can with gluten free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's, I was going to mention the bread too. That's what you brought here. Mm -hmm. What kind of bread is that? Uh, we have a light rye and then we just have a regular hoagie. Sounds good. Now let's talk a little bit about the shop. Where are you guys located? We're on 12th and Indian School. So it's 1609 Indian School Road. Um, uh, northwest, so we're in the North Valley. Okay. So we're right behind the Indian Public Cultural Center. Sounds good. And are you open every day? We're or? open Monday through Friday from okay. um, 7 a.m. till um, 8 p.m. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I do have to ask now, Chris, between these two sandwiches, which one is your fave? Uh, I got to go with the Reuben. The it's Reuben? It's been my favorite from the start. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 12 hours at the slow roast, you guys kind of have to plan ahead then. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Especially if you're feeding, you know, the charter kids, you were saying that's a lot of kids to feed. So yes. it's a lot of, a lot of roasts that you're yes. going to doing. Um, and then, Marie, you were saying if which one would be your fave? The Reuben. Reuben, that's Reuben. my baby of all sandwiches. Mm, it's my go. favorite. So You mentioned briefly a new location. Yes. Is that coming up? Yes, we should be opening hopefully at the end of the month. We're going in with Green Jeans Farmery. Um, so we're going to be there with Santa Fe Brewery, cool. Epiphany Coffee. Yeah. Um, we're going to be there with quite a few people, Rustic Food Truck. So it's going to be like a local food hub right on um, I-40 in Carlisle. I love that. Now, do you guys have a website or a Facebook that we can find you at? Yes, we have Facebook, and okay. it's on um, Boca Dios NM. And then we also have our um, our website is um, bocadillosnm.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome. Thank you. For having this us. Thank looks you. good. I wish again smell a vision because I think this is what I'm smelling. Probably. And it's good. Okay. For more information and recap, you can just head to our website krqe.com, and we'll be right back. Cool. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys.